These are the famous avocado egg rolls from Cheesecake Factory. Out of the hundreds of items on their menu, this one somehow reigns supreme. This egg roll has gone viral on TikTok and even have people fighting over the last piece. It's pretty good. Hmm. Since I got takeout, the egg roll wrapper is not super crunchy anymore. It almost looks like it was double fried. The filling inside, it almost tastes like guacamole. The avocado is still chunky, so it's nice and creamy. The sauce is quite tasty. I almost feel like it makes the whole dish. I get it, I see the appeal. But let's see if we can make it ourselves at home and even make you say dang. That's delicious. So we're gonna start by prepping our avocado filling first and prep all the ingredients. There's many layers to this recipe. I have a quarter of a red onion that I'm gonna dice finely, some cilantro in there. I'm just gonna grab a handful and chop them up. And then there were also sun-dried tomatoes packed in oil, maybe just like two tablespoons that I'll chop up. I felt like it could use a little bit of fresh cherry tomatoes. Of course, they're in season right now, so I'm gonna toss in a couple of those too. A little bit of freshness never hurts anybody. And now, of course, are avocados. You're gonna need three avocados that are firm but ripe so that they hold their structure in the egg roll. I'll cut them up and to a large bowl, we'll add our avocado chunks, the red onions, cilantro, sun-dried tomato. I'm gonna add two garlic cloves minced. So as you can see, this is very close to making guacamole except for a few different mix-ins. I feel like there were hints of cumin, so I'm gonna add one teaspoon of that. Maybe some chipotle to give it a little zing, so I'm gonna add also a teaspoon of this chipotle sauce that I always use, and then some lime juice. Oh, and then salt and pepper to taste. And then we'll just finish it off with a mix, mix, mix. Give it a good mashing with a potato masher, leaving some avocado chunks in there because theirs was chunky. And I think that looks good. Our filling is done, so now I'm gonna wrap them up in the egg roll shell. I bought these wrappers at a local grocery store. They have them pretty much everywhere now. Turning the wrapper to the side like a shape of a diamond, we're gonna fill the bottom third center with a nice scoop of the filling, and I'm just gonna spread it out to about two inches long. Then we're gonna fold in the sides of the wrappers in. When you're folding the bottom tip up, just make sure you tuck the sides in right here so that you don't get any avocado leakage. And then we're just gonna roll it up. At the tip, we're just gonna seal it up with some water and this should hold. So I grew up having meaty Vietnamese egg rolls a lot. My mom made them all the time and the filling was the best. So when I heard of avocado egg rolls, it just sounded strange to me. Like how could the soft texture of the avocado work in a crispy egg roll shell? It didn't make sense, but apparently it does. So before we cook off our egg rolls, let's make our dipping sauce. The menu says that this is a tamarind cashew dipping sauce. Kind of a weird combo if you ask me, but I grew up having tamarind in so many things. I even have a grilled salmon with tamarind sauce in my cookbook. So check it out and make sure you order your copy today. But to a food processor, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of tamarind puree. We're gonna use whole cashews for this because I see chunks of cashews in their sauce. It's definitely a weird combo, tamarind and cashew, but we'll see how it goes. And then we'll do some soy sauce, honey, garlic, ginger, and rice vinegar. Very typical for a tangy Asian dressing like this. A hint of sesame oil, cilantro, and a little bit of oil. Let's blend it up and then give it a quick taste. Mmm, mmm. Mine might be a little more zingy than theirs with the rice vinegar. Definitely take that down in the recipe below. And now to cook up the egg rolls. In a small pan, I'm gonna add avocado oil or any neutral oil about one inch high. And once it gets hot, we'll add three egg rolls in at the same time and cook them up for about two to three minutes on each side until they're nice and golden brown. Because there's no meat inside, they should cook up fairly quickly without worrying about whether the inside's cooked or not. So once they're done, we'll let them cool off and drain on a plate lined with a paper towel. And instead of frying the last three here, I I do wonder how they would turn out air fried. I'm just gonna brush the egg rolls lightly with some oil and then we'll pop them into the air fryer at 400 degrees for five to six minutes on each side or until they're golden brown. 
So here we have Cheesecake Factory's avocado egg roll, my air fried avocado egg roll, and my fried delicious dupe. So I think the air fried one could have worked. It just doesn't look as good. It kind of exploded once I took it out. So maybe just stuff it less if you're gonna air fry it. And then to compare apples to apples, theirs versus mine. So the difference here, maybe it's this piece that I got here, but I can see a lot more filling in mine. The onions, you see the tomatoes, whereas here, I see mostly avocados, which is not a bad thing because I love avocados. But let's see if mine is more delicious. Flavor explosion in a bite. It's creamy, you get chunks of the avocado, you get a little bit of texture from the onions, and this sauce, the sauce is good. I'll have the recipe written out in the description box below. If you guys like these delicious dupes, watch my Starbucks and Chipotle videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Honor system. Honor system. I like it. That one smells good. Really? Which one did you have? Second. Which one? One or two? One. Yay!